afternoon. My name is Nicole Olson. Today I'm going to be giving you some information about becoming a part of a sports medicine club or becoming a student athletic trainer. So you may have seen out on the football field during game days students who are in their polos and khakis going out with water to give to refs or to players or stretching players on the sides or just doing different athletic training um, activities and wondered how do these students get such a position when we don't have an athletic training program or sports medicine um, major or anything like that. Or maybe you're wondering different ways you can get involved here at Tech as well. So I'm going to give you some more information about how you can do that. Um, my objectives will be what does the club do? What is being a student athletic trainer? Um, what are the different roles? And how is this something that can be beneficial even if you're not really interested in athletic training or anything in the medical field? And then I have some quotes from previous trainers as well who really enjoyed it and got the most out of their experience. So the club, it's um, overviewed by Mike Goforth. He is our head athletic trainer, and he also owns University Physical Therapy here in Blacksburg, and he has a couple locations in Roanoke. He's absolutely awesome. He's always looking for the best in the students. He actually came up with this program as a way to help students who want to be in the athletic training um, programs, but we, since we don't have them here, um, it's the best way to do it. It gives people experience and hands-on learning in awesome ways. So about the club, it is free of dues. We have monthly meetings on Wednesdays um, in the Jamerson Center, which is this building here. You might have seen it. It's over by Lane. And at these meetings, we have lectures from athletic trainers or physical therapists or different physicians in the area who can give us information about how to excel and how to be better in our different areas of life as well as to get into different schools or grad programs that we're interested in. Some activities that you get to do are the Hokie Open, which is the big wrestling tournament here. Um, it's a really great hands-on experience just to get an idea of what being an athletic trainer is like. We also get to do the Special Olympics, which is just something that makes you feel good about helping the community out and a good way to give back. The different roles um, as a student athletic trainer, there's main duties that you'll probably have to do, such as wrapping ankles or stretching athletes, going to rehabs or you know, ice packs, or one really cool thing is taking vitals for athletes. It gives you good experience with different learnings um, of those types of things and various machines in our weight room and stuff. Um, I think that it's interesting coming from, I don't go to the weight room every single day, but being in our training room and seeing how the athletes use these machines and how it's helping them with their rehabs, how the body works with them is great experience for even if you just want to go to the weight room and know how the machine works and what it's going to do for your body. Um, the first option we have are rotational aids. These aren't very time consuming, but it's probably the best way to start out. You have two different options. One is that you will switch through five different sports. And we have all sorts of sports from soccer, lacrosse, basketball, volleyball, um, you name it, we probably have it. Or you can switch through the, um, rotate through the training room where you will do rehabs, um, different training activities, and then you will also go to the office like assistant areas to help um, just get an idea of how a training room works, how you schedule doctor's appointments for the athletes and that type of thing. Um, then you then have part-time aids. These, this is essentially, as it says, part-time. It's less consuming, or less time consuming than full-time. You pick one sport, which is why doing the rotational aids is a really good option to start out. You get an idea of the different sports, what the athletic trainers there are like, and then you can decide, oh, I really enjoyed working with football for my like two weeks. I'll start trying to do part-time with them. And then you can learn from those athletic trainers how football's done. You might have different duties and just get to go to practices, get to see how the athletic trainers work. Full-time aids are more time consuming. You again pick one sport, but with full-time aids you are required to attend basically everything. You essentially become another teammate in a way. You will go to all games, you go to meets if you're doing like track or anything, um, but even though it is very time consuming, you do have some perks with being full-time. You get a lot of the gear that the um, athletes get, and you also get to build those 
really one-on-one -on -one relationships with the different trainers and the, even the other students who you're working with, you can make really good friends in that. And you get to meet the athletes too, which is pretty awesome. And then finally, we have field study students. This is basically the option for like HNFE or truly, I think other majors can do it as well, where you'll have to get 45 hours to receive one credit hour of study or 90 hours to receive two credit hours of study. Um, this is through Mike Goforth as well. He'll help guide you through how to get the amount of credits that you need and what activities to do. And by being a field study student, you can do any of these three options in that, like to get those hours. So it's really a great experience. Um, if you want to be something more than just going to the club and hearing about the different like ways to do things, um, I think it's a really good experience. So who can participate? There's no level of experience or education needed. You just like you don't have to be an HNFB. You don't have to understand athletic training. You don't have to have anatomy. You just learn as you go. And that's why I think being um, a rotational aid to start out is so important, because you learn how the different things in the training room work, how the athletes want what they want and what's best for their bodies. And you also will always have an actual certified athletic trainer with you, so you never have to worry about messing up or something going wrong and you don't know what to do. Um, this is also a great experience because many other schools don't offer something like this. Um, having students who aren't in an actual athletic training program be able to work with the athletes. Um, I think it's a really good experience if you're, say, in a different area of ag and life sciences and you want to try out this just to say that you've done it or just to see what working in a weight room is like, then this is a really good experience. So these are some quotes from our previous trainers and um, Renee Eaton, who's the advisor for HNFE. She says, students love this program because it gives them hands-on experience that they can't gain anywhere else, which is very true. This gives us a chance to figure out things on uh, how they work on our own and lets us put what we learn in the classroom to work, was said by Christy Kem. I think that's very true with, I know I have anatomy and actually seeing how those muscles groups work together and how to repair those muscles is very awesome. Um, Michael Crossgrove says, I grew up playing sports, so this is a great way to be involved with something I care about while helping further my academic career. Maybe some of you have played sports in the past and you don't play it here, but you miss that team aspect and want to feel like encouraged again. And I think this is another good experience to fit in with a group that you can learn and grow with. And Chris Petzi, I, it prepares you for professional world of athletic training. Chris Petzi is actually the athletic trainer of the Eagles, um, and he was a student athletic trainer here. So this is, again, just shows you the way that this program can grow our students to become something at even higher levels. Any questions? Thank you.